Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Friday, October 26th. Now, this is Friday into Saturday, so, so the 26th, 27th. We are just going to see whatever comes up. I'm going to read these cards intuitively, and this reading is for somebody. Okay, it's for somebody. Not every person that watches it. So... That's a clear message, all right? If this reading doesn't resonate with you, it's just because it wasn't for you. But keep in mind also that the timing is fluid. This reading may not resonate for three or four days. Or it, seriously, because that happens to me all the time. Or it may have already happened. So keep that in mind. This is a reading for all sides. This is an energy that I'm picking up on for somebody. This is somebody's energy that I am being drawn to. So that's what this is. Somebody's not feeling very abundant at this time. There may be a loss in, in finances, or you just might feel a loss internally. All right? Maybe you feel like you're not worthy enough, or you don't, you're not feeling grateful for all the things that you have when you should be. Maybe you're worried too much about stuff when you should be not sweating the small stuff. Don't sweat the small stuff. I mean, it's small stuff, right? Don't sweat it. Somebody is, is feeling a lack of abundance for some reason. But you, you, you're fine. There's no reason to feel like this because it looks like you have plenty. Hard work pays off, right? This king of, this king of coins is really stable and secure and practical and responsible. He's so responsible that sometimes he thinks he doesn't have enough and he works, he overworks. So you could be dealing with somebody who works, 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 okay? Because they think they don't have enough when they really do have enough. This guy is usually well off, very well off because he works and he keeps thinking, I need more, I need more, I need more. So you may think that you need more. But you probably have enough if it's financially driven, okay? You know, it could be impacting your love life. If you work too much, if, you, if you're not, you know, if you're concentrating on your coin more than anything, it could absolutely, positively be affecting your love life. Maybe it's making you become emotionally unavailable. Maybe you don't have time to go out and play. Maybe you need to make time to go out and play. There's lack of balance, okay? It, you're going to have to balance love and work. That's what this is. You are, somebody is overextending themselves in one arena thinking they need more money when they got plenty. It's affecting their love life and they need to they need to balance it a little bit better. It's about the competition, huh? It's not about you don't need to compete with anybody. You really don't. Because, you see, what's in the middle is love. Love is what matters, and love is what is being neglected. <clears throat> you need to let go of the desire to compete and, and and I know competition is good it is it is competition is good I mean I'm up for a good competition any day of the week if it's in my arena but I am it's like oh, oh yeah I love to compete but there's a time for that 
And if it's affecting your emotional well-being, then hey, maybe you need to give up some things. Maybe you're a little overwhelmed. Oh, jeez, I'm crow. It flew out. The justice card reversed. There's lack of balance. Again, upright, these scales are balanced. There's lack of balance. I mean, right now they look balanced, but they can't. It, it goes against gravity, right? I mean, those scales are going to fall. Somebody's not treating themselves fairly. That's what this is. And this is bad karma. You have to choose one or the other as well. Where you're, where you're going to put your energy and what scale, what, what are you going to do? Where are you going to put your effort, you know? And somebody's not choosing wisely. That's, that's the, for sure. Because they're choosing money. Absolutely. This is... <clears throat> Yikes. Ooh. So, we have somebody that is going through a run of bad luck, okay? It's like there's a situation that is holding them back from getting their wish fulfillment in the love arena. In the situation involves not making time for love okay not making time for it not putting in energy you know it's like i don't i don't have i don't have time i don't have time i mean seriously there's lack of ability to bring the two together you know there is it's like i can't do it i for some reason you're not able to divvy it up equally and you're focusing too much on your money, you know, your your job, your money, whatever, thinking that you need more when you have enough. But the fact of the matter is your heart is not being fulfilled. And it's you really need to make some compromises here. Because there's, a, there's an opportunity to have the wish fulfillment that you really want deep down inside. But this is absolutely a test. You're being tested. Your integrity for yourself, your integrity for the world, your integrity for yourself, basically, is being tested. You're not treating yourself fairly by burying yourself in your work and not letting somebody love you. True love, right? I mean, there's an opportunity for a really good connection here that is that's an opportunity to ha to have it all with this star card. There is there's an opportunity to have it all. But you have to be able to master your emotions and put love back in the mix. You know, you need to be able to open your heart and, and let go of the feeling that you're not worthy because you are worthy of love. Somebody feels, hey, they feel like they're not worthy. Um... This moon card reversed is like some sort of revelation. There's going to be some sort of revelation that hopefully, there's going to be some sort of revelation that hopefully slows you down a little bit. Makes you decide that you don't need to compete with the Joneses. 
you know? I feel this moon card reversed. There's some sort of, there is, there's some sort of epiphany, per se. It's coming out of that fantasy. It's coming out of that illusion that this is all that matters. So somebody could be getting some sort of... Uh, help from above. I mean, the star card is, is like heaven sent because the, the, the star, the, it's like heaven will bring in some sort of gift to you. Because it's time for you to be happy. You know, this is a blessing bringing you some sort of miracle. There's an opportunity for you to get that pot of gold in all arenas. In all arenas of your life. Money and love. But you have to put love in the mix. You have to give time to love. You got to get out there. You got to be playful. You got to open your heart. And somebody has closed off their heart to protect themselves as well. Because this is a card of protection. Trying to protect yourself from getting hurt. But feeling unfulfilled along the way. So the energy is, is that there's an opportunity to, to have wish fulfillment. It's like the heavens are bringing you some opportunity to evolve. But you're not taking it, okay? You're not taking it. There's an opportunity here to evolve, to compromise, to see this situation clearly, to receive some sort of... There's an opportunity to, to free yourself from some of the demands. There is. You can. You can free yourself from some of the demands that are holding you back from falling in love. You can. But trying to protect yourself and burying yourself in your job and your work and your home and everything but love is kind of like weak because this is weakness the knight of swords reverse this guy is weak upright he has a lot of courage so somebody here is trying to protect themselves by burying themselves in you know their work needing to remove remove some of those negative thoughts, remove some of those fears, remove some of those demands. And allow yourself to take a little time to have some fun. Get out there and have some fun. When you do, when you finally decide that there that there is an opportunity for love and you finally decide to give it some time you're probably going to receive some sort of blessing because the star card is a blessing we have somebody here that you know you may you may feel like you're not lovable but you are lovable you are lovable you may have been involved with somebody that had addictions and maybe this person didn't see didn't see didn't see what you were worth Yeah, you were, this is a victim mentality. This is victim mentality as well. Somebody may see themselves as a victim here. You're not a victim. You can change this. You can change this scenario at any time. 
You can't. It seems like you may feel like you've been left out in the cold, but you've actually, you're have actually you actually the one that put yourself there. You put yourself there. By not going after what you want, by not allowing somebody to help you. And the thing is, is I'm too strong to receive help, right? I don't need your help. I don't need your help. And if you have that mentality, if you have that mentality, then nobody's going to want to be around you. You need help. You do. You can't get all these swords out by yourself. It's just the way it is. Somebody needs some help. Some help to heal. And there's lack of healing here. So somebody has buried themselves in money, you know, their job. Because it's a way to protect. It's a way to protect myself, right? The chariot reversed. Lack of mental strength, lack of discipline, lack of willpower. Inability to take the lead, to change gears. You have an opportunity to change gears at any time. All I gotta do is get in the car and grab that shifter. It feels like somebody really, really is begging for help, but not really. Because this person can't, that's like a church. He can go inside and, or she, whatever, and get help. There's no doubt there's help inside that church. But standing outside in the snow with the cup, it's like, I want sympathy. She wants sympathy too. It's like she wants people to see her struggle. Why? Why? That's victim mentality. Again, we have competition up here. It's like I want people to see what I'm doing. Why? You have something to prove. Somebody has something to prove, and it's affecting their love life. It's affecting their love life, and it's affecting their ability to feel free mentally. It's causing a, there's a lot of negative thoughts going on, right? There's a lot, there is, there's a lot of mental turmoil here. It's like, oh my God, this hurts so bad because you're not, you need love to survive pretty much, right? Ooh, so the Empress, you know, the Empress is a woman that is very wise. She's very wise. She can grow anything. This empress can grow anything. She is uh, a woman that deals with her pain and brings miracles into, into lives. So we have a, a rebirth here, the birth of something new. You could be dealing with a woman that is going to help you to renew. She's also the goddess of love. 
She's going to bring some love back to your life. So whether this is, if you are a woman watching this, you are probably about to go through some sort of rebirth. And you can absolutely consider it a miracle. I said miracle with this card and a baby is a miracle. There is some sort of miracle. And if it's a man, you could be, you could be coming into contact with this woman who can help you to find love again. Because she's the goddess of love. She is. That's the Venus, which is the planet of love, right? And this is a miracle, and this is a miracle. So be prepared to receive some sort of miracle that helps you to open your heart again for man or woman watching this. There's a miracle coming. Interesting. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Libra, Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, the fire signs are here too. So, we're all here. The wisest thing to do is to face your fears. And let love in. You know, you see this harvest, it's like the time is ripe for this new beginning. There's a new beginning here. I mean, it's the birth of something new. Be prepared for a new beginning in love. It's probably something you've been begging for subconsciously. Subconsciously, seriously. Or in secret, secretly you've been begging for it. Hiding it from the rest of the world. Well, the moon is hidden forces, right? There's something going on behind the scenes. When you get this card, it means they heard. They heard. And now there's going to be some sort of new beginning. I mean, that's what this is. There's a new beginning here. I can't, it is what it is, right? We are going to get another card. I think, we're, I don't know how long this is, but there goes my friggin' book. I guess we don't want that one. This woman, she's the pick of the litter. She is. She is. Everybody wants her because she, she, love is her top priority. She's the goddess of love. So people can see it. She glows. She glows. Wherever she goes, she glows. So, because love is number one for her. So whoever this woman is, uh, she's a real beauty. She's an absolute beauty. Oh, this is real good. This is perfect. Reward yourself. You've been giving a lot of yourself lately, and it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood, and motivation at a constantly high level. 
like I said, it's time for you to receive. In the balance of giving and receiving, it's time for you to balance out work and love. Be prepared to find wish fulfillment. If you are ready to accept it, if you are ready to accept this new beginning. Good luck.